In today's video, I'm reviewing the manga series Citrus, and that's coming up. <laughs> What's up there and welcome to a brand new video on 414 anime. In today's video I'm reviewing the manga series Citrus Hip. And hey, if you're new here, why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. So I saw this series on Crunchyroll, um, I think it's about six episodes deep as the uh, as of the making of this video. And uh, you know, I, I really got on with it, I thought it was really cool uh, and I wanted to know what happened next. So I saw that the manga was available, so I, I decided to pick that up and you know, I thought I'd do a review on it. But firstly I'd just like to pick up on the artwork on this over here. So obviously we've got Yuzu and we've got Mei, these are our two main characters throughout the series. Uh, really, really awesome artwork on there, uh, it kind of really grabs your attention. It's a Yuri series and for anyone that's unfamiliar with that term, it's basically a girl and girl love, uh, which is all good in the hood. So this is basically just a bit of a romance series and uh, you know what, so far so good. Yuzu Aihara, a high school girl whose main interests are fashion, friends and having fun, is about to get a reality check. Due to her mom's remarriage, Yuzu has transferred to a new all girls school that is extremely strict. Her real education is about to begin. From day one, happy-go-lucky Yuzu makes enemies, namely the beautiful yet stern student council president, Mei. So what happens when a dejected Yuzu returns home and discovers the shock of her life? That Mei is actually her new stepsister, who has come to live with her. Even more surprising, when Mei catches Yuzu off guard and kisses her out of the blue, what does it all mean? That is the question, what does it all mean? So yeah, basically as we understood there, Yuzu has just transferred to an all-girls school, her mum's just remarried, uh, and she's, you know, she's a proper kind of girly girl, um, you know, into the fashion, into the boys, you know, uh, she's quite loud, cheeky, and she, like, she's got a really, really like upbeat kind of personality. Uh, this all-girls school is a very, very strict school, and uh, they have a certain dress code and a, a certain way that girls are supposed supposed to act. Uh, and obviously she uh, she clashes straight away here with May, who's the student council president, of course. So her first day doesn't go too well. She clashes heads with quite a few people. She does make a friend in a girl called Haraman. Uh, however, the rest of the day doesn't really go that well. So not the best start to a new school life. Once she gets home to help her mom, like packing and everything like that, because they've just moved to a new city, her mom drops the bombshell on her that she's got a brand new stepsister. This stepsister is not none other than May over here. So of course, uh, not getting off to the best start and then finding out that she's now got to live with this girl is uh, you know, quite, quite, quite the feat. What makes the situation even more awkward though is that Yuzu had caught May already that day kissing one of the teachers at the school. Mm. And uh, yeah, so it, not only was it, you know, these two uh, haven't got off to the best start, it's also kind of awkward for old Yuzu over here. When it gets to like bedtime, they're sharing a room together, so, you know, um, nothing like that, not yet. Yuzu kind of thinks like, you know, let's let's make let's make the best of, a, you know, a, a bad situation. And she tries to, you know, to be fair to like kind of connect with May and like, hey, if we're going to be stepsisters, we might as well, you know, at least try to get on, right? But May just ignores her. May, May's like, this really kind of like, there's a lot of mystery to May. She's really cold. Uh, she doesn't give anything away, um, but I think that's what intrigues me personally about her character. There's a lot more to this girl than meets the eye. So as the as the series progresses, we find out little snippets more and more, uh, you know, which kind of blossoms into the story. So it's really really cool. But yeah, so she ignores her and usually starts to think, you know what? Hey, you know what? Um, we'll just call her out on her kissing the teacher alley, see if that will get her to notice me. And, and that didn't go well. <laughs> Not to use your sake anyway, for our readers' sake and our viewing delight, maybe. Um, but yeah, so May ends up kissing Yuzu. And Yuzu's never been kissed before, you know, she's never been in love with a boy or anything like that. So this completely takes her, like, whoa, what's going on? This is like, what is what is happening here? Uh, and she is basically just confused as heck. So with all that happening, that leads on to like the rest of the story here. Uh, as far as I've got up to anyway, it's basically Yuzu getting really confused about what's happening, all the situation and everything like that. We obviously, like I said earlier, we're trying to find out a bit more about May. What's her story? What's you know what's what's her kind of plan? And there's a lot of kind of cutie bits in there. You know, it's a it's a really kind of charming, tasteful little story. Um, as 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 for the Yuri side of this, when it comes to those explicit scenes, there aren't that many in there. Um, but when they're done, they are done tastefully, um, which is really good. But I'll show you some of the stuff in there in just a second. But from what I've got up to, it's basically there, there seems to be loads of like little like, awkward situations. Yuzu Blesser tries her best. She she's she's this kind of person that you know. Uh, wants to help means well uh, but it always ends up getting her or May in trouble and it, half the time we find that Yuzu's apology apologizing to May but these little events obviously bring them closer throughout time typical standard I mean in terms of story it's, it's nothing you know mind-blowing out of the ordinary nothing that you've never seen before it's basic but it's just a basic little romance story and you know that is what is so captivating about it it's really really awesome so that leads me to like the likes what I like about it I, I like the story I like the characters you know they're really easy to understand 
and they're really easy to get on with. Uh, in terms of the story, like I said, it is very basic, uh, but that's what's so nice about it. You know, you haven't got to think about it. It's uh, it's one of those that you can just kind of pick up, you know, read it, and you know, I often find myself that I just like read it and then you know move on to the next two. So <laughs> that's what happened with me. In terms of other characters, it's, it's mainly based around Yuzu and Mei. Uh, so you do see these other characters kind of like pop in here and there, but they're only kind of like almost side story fillerish characters just uh, to kind of take uh, either your, your mind of the main story or um, it's basically just to kind of fill out more of a certain character's backstory. So, you know, in, in terms of other characters, um, they're not as well designed as these two, but it's all good. What I also love about this series is the, the, the artwork, uh, it, not only on the covers, but actually inside the manga as well. The artist has taken a lot of care and effort into making this very kind of like perfect and nice. So as, as we'll see in a second one, uh, I'll show you inside the manga. Um, the girls are designed very nicely and they're drawn, especially like Yuzu. Her eyes, uh, a lot of the time are very, very detailed and it kind of gives off this really nice professional finish. In terms of dislike, um, obviously there isn't other many characters in there. So you really, if, if you don't get on with Mei and Yuzu from the start, then you're in trouble. Uh, cause that's pretty much it. If you're also someone that doesn't quite like cringy moments or cringy scenes uh, this this may not be another manga for you as uh, this series has a lot of uh, moments where I particularly felt like oh my god <laughs> you know but for me that's that's more of a like so I think it adds the charm to the story but for a lot of people that you know get uncomfortable around that kind of stuff then this probably won't be for you uh, as well as that if you're not into the Yuri kind of thing I mean obviously this this isn't like full-blown like hentai or anything like that um, but obviously there is those kind of scenes in there where the, the two are kissing and uh, you know to be fair from what I've seen so far that's about as far as it goes um, but if you're not into that kind of thing then you know fair enough but um, you know this probably won't be for you either uh, but for me I'm cool with that other than that I'm pretty easy to please so uh, I, I really didn't find uh, an awful lot in there that I didn't like so what we'll do is we'll just jump in and I'll show you the the first chapter so here we go let's have a quick look inside of volume one then so obviously as we can see on the front here like throughout the whole video I've pretty much been showcasing this this image on here uh, but isn't it just like gorgeous I love like the colors on there the overall look the artist has really captured like the kind of like this the series perfectly in this picture here and it's just something I think is quite enticing so you know awesome 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 artwork Okay, so moving on then. So of course we get uh, a start to the series here and it's uh, beautifully done in colour. So we've got Yuzu basically sitting around with the girls. Uh, they're going on about boys, things like that. And, um, you know, Yuzu's lack of... I think she's just broke up with her boyfriend in this part here. Uh, but she's saying she's going to a new school so she'll find a new one. Uh, this kind of picture over here, this really for me kind of uh, captures uh, Yuzu, uh, her whole essence as a character uh, in that, that one picture there. You know, really happy-go-lucky kind of, kind of person. And of course then we've got a bit of the fan service just on the side there, uh, Mei and uh, Yuzu there. Obviously uh, this is kind of a good you know, representation of how this girl changes in such a short time, going from this really happy kind of girl to uh, really kind of like insecure about uh, you know, everything that's going on. So yeah, so starting with this then, obviously we have the, the main artwork there again. Uh, Yuzu uh, going to school, obviously like I mentioned earlier, it's an all-girls school with a very strict code to it. So usually wearing this kind of get-up with her dyed hair, uh, makeup, things like that, isn't going to go damn well. <laughs> and she gets this confrontation here straight away with one of the girls with the clipboard uh, who says that, hey, you're basically in a violation of what's going on in here. Uh, Yuzu being Yuzu doesn't take this very well, so she, she starts to kick off. This introduces us then to Mei over here. And look how beautifully she's detailed. Look at that. I mean, that's what I was going on about with like the eyes and stuff. So you see, like... Uh, Yuzu's eyes there, Mei's, like, it's just really well, well, kind of done. I love, like, the facial expressions that uh, that we see Yuzu do throughout the series as well. Um, so this is basically their first encounter, really, and obviously Mei being the student council president, she's not, uh, she's not down uh, with the way Yuzu is. Uh, Yuzu's quite cocky and confident as well to begin with, uh, thinking that she can just kind of, like, make may roll over but may is very strict stern to the point so she uh she certainly uh lets yuzu know what she thinks about that one so after this confrontation yuzu then goes to the bathroom from ruzo and makeup and things like that and we see uh this teacher guy here who will be quite uh, relevant in just a second uh, and then Yuzu finally gets into her new class uh she's desperately trying to make friends from the very get-go uh, but because she's quite out there she's definitely against what this school stands for uh the other girls are like kind of 
shy or they're a bit kind of timid. They're not, they're not sure how really to take Yuzu on until this girl over here, uh, Horaman, who confesses to Yuzu that she's, you know, a bit of a girly girl herself. So those two look, hit it off from the very, very go. Bit more kind of bail about May here. Obviously Yuzu being in that confrontation with her, she is a bit kind of curious as to, you know, what this girl's deal is and, you know, a bit about her. But uh, as May being May, she's very closed off and stuff. So not a lot of people really know uh, much about what's going down with her. After this, it's revealed that uh, Haramin is uh, quite the cheeky girl herself, herself as well by uh, keeping her phone on her. Obviously, she keeps it in uh, the, the girl's secret place, as they do. Following that, at the end of the day, it may user gets this uh, like lecture from, I, I, I don't know exactly what she is, but I guess she's some sort of like uh, student counselor or, you know, She's not ahead of school or anything like that. After the long ordeal, uh, Yuzu finally gets to go home and she sees the teacher that she saw in the bathroom earlier on that day. Uh, so she thinks, hey, I've got my phone back now. Let's, uh, let's go grab his number. You know, Let's uh, try, try my luck in this new school. Uh, she turns the corner and to her, dearest May, she sees May, the student council president, guessing at the teacher that she was just following there. Uh, and Yuzu obviously doesn't react to this uh, very well, as we can see here, she's quite like, oh my god, kind of thing. Very loud, uh, you know, not very discreet, especially when she's like, just caught these two, like, doing what they're doing. And obviously we can see over here that May has caught Yuzu out. Yuzu being Yuzu though, she uh, she just, she gets out of there <laughs> as quickly as she can. She ain't sticking around for nothing, uh, which leads her to her finally getting home. So as we can see, this is the introduction of Yuzu's mom. Uh, and she's basically said, hey, um, where have you been? You probably should help me unpack kind of thing. But, you know, Yuzu kind of uh, went through that ordeal and like, <laughs> you know, kind of got home a bit late. But it's fine, you know, those two have like a really kind of strong, uh, strong connection there. From, from the looks of it, like, they've been just the two of them for quite a while, so those two are quite tight. Um, but this is the point where she drops the bombshell on her, like, hey, by the way, you're going to have a brand new stepsister. Which is this girl over here. <laughs> Our student council president herself, May. So yeah, we can see how this is going to go from the very beginning. Moving on here, May acts very, you know, kind of polite, You're still closed off and things like that, but she's very, very respectful to our new mother and stuff. Um, the whole situation going down here is basically saying like, hey, we're like one big family now, so, you know, let's all like love each other, whatnot, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously Yuzu doesn't really get on with this, so she's seen sulking in the bath over here, uh, they're having dinner, and after seeing May kiss the, uh, the teacher, she's really doing everything she can to kind of hold back on this, as well as like, she's a bit probably confused about the situation as a whole, and like, hey, what's going on here? But this is the kind of the first time this we see Yuzu a bit confused about things. Of course, she's very girly girly, she's into the boys and things like that. But like I said earlier, she's never been in love, nor has she kissed someone. So the whole thought of this kind of gets her a bit, you know, intrigued. It's like, oh, I wonder what being kissed feels like and things like that. So it, it kind of shy, it kind of shows Yuzu's more innocent side, which is, you know, really nice to see. So she's not only this big, loud kind of like, go happy girl. She does have that, you know, slight insecurity side to her, which is, yeah, nice, nice addition to her character. Following this, uh, they're in the bedroom now, so obviously Yuzu's thinking, hey, you know, we're going to be stepsisters, so, you know, we might as well make the most of it and get on. But May being May is just ignoring her. Um, Yuzu obviously gets ticked off by this and thinks, hey, you know what, if uh, if you're going to play that game, then uh, I'll drop this card. So you know, Yuzu starts playing the uh, the big talk and be like, hey, I saw you kissing, like, the uh, the, the teacher, you know, um, antagonizing her, trying to get a response out of her. But the response she gets is one that she wasn't expecting, uh, which our next page will showcase. And this is probably uh, as, you know, dirt as the scenes get, I would have thought. Uh, obviously, May pins Yuzu down and kisses her. Just like that. So have a good look at that page, because <laughs> that's that's about as far as it goes. Um, you don't really see an awful lot in this series, so that's, you know, fair enough. That just happened. So yeah, she wasn't expecting that, as we can tell by this facial expression over here. I believe after this, I think May's left the room to go to the bathroom where she's just gone straight to sleep. But this leaves Yuzu here thinking, oh my God, what has just happened? Uh, I'm even more confused about my life than I already have been, which is really cool. That was a quick look at the first chapter. I'll, um, go over what I think of the series. So yeah, like I said, this series is, you know, some, it's really kind of like, there's not much to it. It's really easy to follow. And, you know, I, I love the characters in there. In terms of their development, uh, it's more the relationship we see a development of rather than the characters. Obviously, the more that we see them, the more we kind of get to know them, but they don't really progress or anything like that. Um, so it's, it's just nice, short, simple, 
to the point and uh, you know I I like that it's just one of those things that you can just pick up and it's just easy just to sit back with you haven't really got to think about it which is you know most of the time really good would I recommend it definitely if you're into uh, like the romance side of things then yeah 100% go for it if you're into the uh, the Yuri kind of things then yeah 100% go with it I think it's uh, it's up there with the best of the best of that genre if you're not into romance and you want more action and things like that stay away from this as well as that if you're not into the whole girl and girl thing then once again it's not going to be for you but uh if you're kind of on the fence about all this kind of stuff uh i definitely recommend picking this up because you know i thoroughly enjoyed it so you know i can't see why you guys wouldn't as well i obviously enjoyed it enough to pick up the other two so <laughs> all is good but there we go that was my quick review on the citrus manga there as you can tell this is my first ever manga review here so uh let me know in the comment section below you know how i did <laughs> um I, I plan to do uh, more of these so the more i do the more in depth the reviews will be and whatnot but for now we're just keeping it simple what i'll do as well is i've left links to the first three volumes in the description below uh so if you want to pick the series up then please feel free to i will just let you know that they are affiliate links so if you do buy through those links a small percentage of that purchase will go towards helping the channel so if you do i appreciate that thank you very much if you want to see more manga reviews like this anime fact videos figure reviews and more then hit the subscribe button right now also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Share this video with a friend that you think might be into the series. Have you read this already? Have you watched the anime? Let me know what your thoughts on it are in the comment section below. But that is it from me. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Take care.